channel. So today I filmed this beautiful look using the new ColourPop Strawberry Collection. I also played around with everything. So if you want to see how I got this look using the ColourPop Collection, then please keep on watching. To start with, they have this cute little set here. This is called the So Fresh, So Clean set. And this is from Fourth Ray Beauty, which is the sister company of ColourPop. And it is their skincare line, which is really exciting. And I've tried a couple of things from them that I've loved. So every time I see some products from their Fourth Ray Beauty line, I get super excited. So this set comes with this strawberry seed oil, this strawberry face milk, and this ColourPop lippy scrub. So it's really adorable. This lippy scrub is called By the Bushel and it smells like strawberries. I'll just insert the prices of all those sets and all the products in this video so you will see the prices of everything. I'll show you guys this lip scrub which is super cute and it smells like fresh strawberries. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that on my lips right now just to prep my lips. And there are some granules in it just to exfoliate your lips. I'm just rubbing any dead skin off. Mm. It actually tastes good too. I don't know if you were supposed to eat it, but it tastes really good. I like strawberries. And I actually love lip scrubs. So I was really excited when I saw this. So you kind of just like scrub your lips and then you just wipe off the scrub because you don't want your lips to feel like they have sand on them. <laughs> but that is really good to exfoliate. Okay, so my lips are nice and exfoliated. I really like that lip scrub. And now I'm gonna use this Fourth Ray Beauty Strawberry Face Milk. So this is just kind of like a little serum. It says, apply two to three drops into palms, warm between hands, and gently press into skin. And this is really nice to use before you use any moisturizer. And make sure your hands are clean. I just freshly wash my hands. So I'm just gonna put a few drops on. I think I did four generous drops. You can probably use a little bit less. I'm just gonna rub that in. So now to really hydrate, I'm gonna go in with a few drops of this strawberry seed oil. And this also says to apply two to three drops into the palms, warm between hands, and gently press into the skin. Use as needed to maximize shelf life, store in a cool, dark area. And now I feel like our skin is all nice and prepped and now we can start on the eyes. Okay, so with this strawberry collection, they also released this strawberry shake eyeshadow palette and guys, this palette is so beautiful. I'll give you a little bit of a close up so you can see how pretty this palette is. So this eyeshadow palette comes with nine shadows. There's a mix of mattes and metallics. There is no pressed glitters in the shadow. I actually just reviewed the orange eyeshadow palette from them, which did have one pressed glitter, which is really nice. But this one just seems to have some nice metallics in here mixed with some beautiful mattes. And the names are on the palette, which is amazing. There's also a nice big mirror and the palette is a nice sturdy plastic. You can see there's also some silver metallic on there and the names of the shadows are also found on the back of the palette so that right there is just amazing and i'm really excited to use this palette i will also be inserting swatches for you guys so stay tuned for all that that will be coming up in the video and let's just get started on the eyes right now using this eyeshadow palette okay so i'm zooming you guys in a little bit don't mind my little friend on my forehead i am breaking out a little bit as i said so hopefully these new ColourPop products will calm my skin and hydrate it. And I'm just gonna go right into these shadows. In the crease, I'm going to use this beautiful, it's like a soft pinky mauve shade. It's called Woke. So I'm gonna take that with this blending brush. This is a Zoeva blending brush. The name is actually, I think it's a 228 blending brush from Zoeva. And I'm just gonna place that beautiful soft pink shade in my crease. And then my brows are done. I just prime my eyelids with the ColourPop concealer and set it with a little bit of translucent powder. And that's all I did for my eyes. The shadow is actually super pigmented. It's really nice. It's blending out quite easily.
Okay, so we have that beautiful pinky mauve shade in the crease and it's a really, really nice shadow. It blended out super pretty. There was a little bit of fallout, but not too much. If you watched my tutorial where I used the Orange You Glad eyeshadow palette by Bum, you can see that there was quite a bit of fallout with that palette. And they're finding that these shadows seem to be a little bit less soft, so there's not as much fallout. And they're really pretty so far. So I think just to brighten this look up a little bit, I'm gonna go into this beautiful bright pinky shade. This is called Take a Sip. And I'm going in with this ColourPop blending brush. This is the F11 brush and I actually really love it. It's actually really nice for the crease. It's a really nice big stippling brush and I find that it fits beautifully in the crease. I'm just gonna take that bright pink shadow and just smoke it a little bit closer and deeper in the crease. This ColourPop blending brush has actually quickly become one of my favorites. I love it for the crease. I just find that it fits like perfectly in my crease and it really blends out the eyeshadows so easy. Okay, so we have that brighter pink shade now in the crease and just to darken and deepen it a little bit, I'm gonna add this shade called Shake It Up and this is more of like a dark mauve shade. And I'm taking that on this smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that in the crease just to deepen up that brighter pink shade. So as you can see, we're just kind of layering the colors. I started off with that lighter transition crease shade and we went a little bit brighter and now just to tame everything and keep it a little bit more subtle and darker, I'm just adding this nice darker mauve shade. So far, there's really not that much fallout with these shadows, and they're blending beautifully. As you can see, it's been pretty easy to blend these shadows out. I think they look pretty good. I love their whole color theme palettes. I think that they're super cute. They're like the perfect size, and they're just a really good quality. I love that ColourPop has been doing these color theme palettes. They're really nice. Okay, so we have those beautiful shadows blended in, and I think I do want to create a little bit of a cut crease in the front part of my eye. So I'm going to use my tried and true ColourPop white concealer. This is in the shade Fair 00, and it's their no filter concealer. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that onto this flat angled concealer brush and place an outline of a cut crease on the inner part of my eye just to help define it. I don't want to go too high up above my natural crease, so I'm kind of just taking it a little bit above it. With whatever concealer is left over, I'm just kind of buffing out the edges there. It doesn't have to be perfect, we just focus more towards the inner corner. Okay, so we have that little bit of a cut crease defined there, and they did have these two Jelly Mud Shadows, part of their strawberry collection. I'm not sure how well they'll go with the look I have today, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. This one over here is called Strawberry Jam, which is kind of like a coppery, it's more of like a pinky copper, so it's like, like a strawberry copper, I would say. It's really pretty. And then this one is called Strawberry Jelly, more of like a neon strawberry color. Super nice as well. I actually might take a little bit of this copper shade, this is the Strawberry Jam shade, and I might place it more along the outer edges of this eye look, so we'll see how that looks. I'm just going to use a flat packer brush for that and dip right into that shadow. It was a little bit darker than I wanted, but we'll see. If it looks nice, I might place it over the whole lid. For now, let's just start with the outer edge. It's such a gorgeous color, but so far, I'm obsessed with the shade. And now on the inner corner to really make it pop, I'm gonna go into this beautiful shadow that I was drawn to as soon as I saw this palette. This is called Delish, and it's like a beautiful champagne pink shade with a lot of silver specks in it, but it's still like pinky. And I'm just gonna go into that with this Zoeva 234 Smoky shader brush so it's just like a flat packer brush and i'm gonna spray a little bit of fix plus onto my brush just to really make the shadow pop so i'll show you guys how pretty the shadow looks i'm just gonna place that silvery pink champagne shade on the inner corner of my eyes 
and I just want to blend it in with that jelly mud shadow we placed on the outer corner. Kind of like a little bit of an ombre look. Okay, so we have that beautiful color now on the inner corner. As you can see, it really made it pop. And now I'm just gonna clean off any fallout that we've had. And then I'm going to finish off my face. I'm gonna leave everything but my blush on so I could show you guys the two beautiful blushes that also come with the strawberry set. And we'll put some of that on on camera and we'll finish off the look just with blush and lips when I get back. So you guys can see how the rest of this look will turn out. Okay guys, so my foundation is on. I have some bronzer on, concealer, did a little bit of nose highlighting. And now we're just gonna finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna do the bottom lash line and I'm gonna go into that same shade that we used in the beginning as our initial crease shade. This is the shade called Woke. I'm gonna use a Morphe JH38 little pencil brush for that. And I'm just smoking that on the lower lash line. I did pop on a pair of lashes as well. I don't know if I said that, but of course you don't have to put on lashes. It's optional. I just love my lashes. So it's honestly up to you. So I think I'm just gonna leave the lower lash line a little bit more simple with that nice, beautiful, neutral pinky shade on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with this pencil from NARS. This is the High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Rue Bonaparte. And it's a really beautiful neutral shade. I'm just gonna put that on the waterline. I like using a nice neutral nude color in the waterline because I feel like it just opens your eyes. And with this look, it kind of gives you that nice baby doll look, which is super cute. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. This is just a black mascara from Givenchy. It's their Black Disturbia one. So ColourPop released also two new pressed powder blushes, which is really exciting because I've actually never tried their pressed powder blushes. So it's these two shades right here. They kind of look really similar in the pan. This one's a little bit darker, if you can tell, and this one is a little bit lighter. This one is called Shortcake, and this one is called Seed You Later. So very cute. So that is Shortcake, and this one is Seed You Later. The compacts are also so adorable. Can you see this beautiful pink shade? It's like a really, really baby, baby pink. So pretty, it comes with a little mirror. And I'm just gonna go into the Shortcake Blush, which is the little bit of the lighter shade. I'm going to go in with this Morphe JH06 brush and I'm just gonna place some of that on the apples of my cheeks. put a little bit on the tip of my nose and along the bridge. I feel like it just makes you look a little bit cuter. <laughs> that blush is actually super cute. I love this pink shade. The pigmentation is amazing. A little bit goes a long way. And I think the pink looks really nice with the eyes. I like to always match my blush with my eyes, like the tones, and that's just really beautiful. So I'm gonna finish highlighting my face and then I'll be back to finish off this look with the lips. Okay, so now this collection does come with two beautiful glosses. These are the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips. The shade is called Easy Bake, and it's a really nice light pinky shade. And this shade is called Very Good, and it's more of like a sheer jellyish kind of brighter pink shade. So first, I'm going to align my lips with this ColourPop lip liner in the shade Faded. And I'm kind of just dragging that lip liner all over my lips. And this will create a really nice base for the glosses. And I think I actually want to use this lighter gloss. This is called Easy Bake and it's so pretty. It's literally like a strawberry baby pink shade. So cute. I really like how the glosses have a brush tip. I find that it just applies much better that way. This gloss also kind of smells like vanilla, which is super nice. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look. I really love how this beautiful pinky strawberry look came out. The ColourPop collection was really beautiful. I really loved using everything. The eyeshadow palette was gorgeous. As you can see, it was really easy to work with, super pigmented, really blendable, and for like $12 US, guys, you really can't go wrong. It's a great palette. The Jelly Mud Shadows were super pretty too. I really love that shade called Strawberry Jam. It's just gorgeous, and it really applied beautifully on the eyes. Super easy to work with again. Also, the blushes were gorgeous. I had never tried their pressed powder blushes, and they're honestly amazing, so I really can't wait to try more of their pressed powder blushes. And also, the lip gloss was beautiful. I love this beautiful pinky. It's like a baby pink strawberry shade. I really think everything turned out beautiful. I'd love to know what you guys think of this look. I really am such a fan of pink, so I love this strawberry collection. It's super cute. Also, the skincare items were amazing, so I definitely love those. And I just think that overall, it's amazing. ColourPop is killing the game. They're always releasing new products, so they're just so fun to review and play around with. And they're so affordable, which is amazing. So guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!